Hi, I'm Miss Walker, and I'm going to talk to you about politics and why you should study politics at Hayesfield. And I am the head of history, and the history department helps lead politics at Hayesfield. So, if you're unsure about what to study at A-level, and you're thinking, you know, what should I do? I think politics would be a really good choice for several reasons. For one reason, you will win social media arguments forevermore. And perhaps even uh, moments around the family Christmas table, you know, you'll be able to back up all your arguments and you will be left looking like the star. The uh, exam board describes politics as lively, controversial and relevant. And, you know, I don't think there is a better way of describing it, really. If you've had sleepless nights looking at the American election, if you've been biting your fingernails looking at what's been happening with Brexit, it is the most relevant A-level course. So we really want you to get thinking when you do politics. So if you're wondering why in the last American election, Donald Trump got in despite winning 2.8 million less votes than Hillary Clinton, then this is the course for you. And obviously, we will see what happens with the most recent election as well. If you're wondering still what is going to happen with Brexit and what impact that will have on our country and looking at why people voted for Brexit, again, this is the course for you. If you're interested in issues around gender, so why there is a gender pay gap and why there are issues with different kind of ideas such as um, trans rights and things like that, this is the course for you. If you just want to actually understand the political system, and the UK political system is quite peculiar. For example, why does the British Parliament still use vellum, so animal skin, rather than paper to create their laws? Then this is the course for you. A couple more reasons, if I haven't convinced you already. It helps you know your rights, and that's really important. You know, you're coming to a point where you'll be voting, helps you understand what's going on, and as you become an adult and as you get a job, what kind of things you can expect from the government. Helps you clarify your own beliefs and hopefully helps you kind of question your own beliefs as well and challenge your own thinking. It is always relevant, always changing, and that's what makes it such an exciting course to do. It helps you understand how your country works. If you, you know, you see it on TV, you might not understand exactly what's going on. Why are all those people crowded into the House of Commons? You will understand that and you'll be able to talk to people about it confidently. It prepares you for adult life. It also gives you really good opportunities for the future. So the University of Oxford talks about the fact that politics is at the heart of human life and it is a very respected A-level. Anyone would suit this course, particularly people that are really thinking about the fact that they are about to get the right to vote. You're on the cusp of being able to vote and you want to use that vote sensibly. It's your civic duty to vote in the, in the right way with understanding. If you want a critical understanding of current political affairs and institutions, also if you enjoy debate, discussion and argument, this is the place for you. Okay, Find out who's really in power. Find out exactly what is going on. And become an active participant in politics. You can change the world. We have an amazing team here at Hayesfield. So you have myself, Ms. Walker. I studied at Exeter and Bristol University. And my particular kind of topics of expertise are feminism, power and protest. And I love looking at the role of pressure groups as well. And looking at groups like Extinction Rebellion and looking at how they're viewed by government and things like that. I work particularly closely with Politics Project, which I'll talk about in a moment, and Youth Parliament. We also have Mr. Patson, who studied at Brunel University, who is fanatical and really interested in US politics and voting behaviour, and he also runs HADPOD, which again I'll talk to you about later, but that is another opportunity for you. We also have Ms. Higgs, who studied at Bar Spa and Bristol University. She loves teaching the political ideologies and ideas section of the course and US politics as well, and she's the Duke of Edinburgh coordinator, so she might get you involved in some of those as well. So, what do our students think? I will let you listen to them. Why did you choose to do politics at Hayesfield? Um, because I want to understand um, what's going on in current affairs and why it's happening and why people believe the things that they do. And what about you, Elise? Um, it helps me understand the past and the present. Lovely. And uh, Nelly, what have you enjoyed so far about your lessons in politics? Um, I've enjoyed learning about the different ideologies and like their origins and challenging misconceptions that I might have really had about certain like, parties and stuff. Thank you.
Hello, I'm Katrin. I'm Year 13 at Hayesfield and I'm taking History, Politics and Economics at Sixth Form. Um, I hope to go on to do Politics and International Relations at University because I love finding out about how the world around us works and how I can get involved in activism and to make a better change beyond the powers that we have as young people. Catherine has been involved with Youth Parliament. Catherine, would you like to explain a few bits about that? Yeah, so in February of 2020, I took part in the election and I became the Deputy Member of Youth Parliament for Bath. So this means that I attend forum groups and I represent the young people of Bath as well as in conferences in the South West. And I find it a really beneficial tool and way to get voices heard to MPs and people around the country as well as raising them within South West to create change within councils, etc. So why particularly should you study politics at Hayesfield, apart from our amazing staff? Well, you know, our students are fantastic and we offer them the best opportunities. So we offer a huge range of extracurricular trips and debates in schools. We offer annual trips to Parliament to meet with our MPs. We uh, have Vera Hobhouse both come to school and we've also met her in Parliament and she's and showed us around. It's been, we've done workshops with her. We've done lots of different events. So we did an event at the M Shed with, about people power and protest. We've hosted any questions and we regularly hold debates and get visitors and guests in. Some things that we do that are really important. We are a subscriber to the Politics Project, which means we're in a really privileged position because actually that means that we get to have access, direct access to other MPs and so not just our own local MP. Uh, we used to have members of European Parliament as well, and also pe uh, peers from the House of Lords. So we get to talk to different people on webinars, so we don't even need to always go to Parliament, but we actually have discussions in class and in extracurricular time as well. Sixth form politics students are actively involved in Make Your Mark, which is about the youth parliament, and we've had some real successes in that that I will talk about later. But Make Your Mark is about getting you guys involved in a decision-making process that really affects you. We host in the winter term students from Norway and they join our class and they give an international perspective to debates and they, they help us understand quite a different political system, uh, the Norwegian system, and it really is very interesting. We've hosted the local hustings, so we're a very politically involved school. We hosted the UK Youth Parliament before and as I said, we've had some really active um, roles. So this year we've got Catch and Play and it's our deputy youth member, uh, member of Youth Parliament. And previously we had Hannah Powell who won and then got to go into the House of Parliament, into the House of Commons and actually do an amazing speech about uh, poverty, period poverty and homelessness and it was very powerful and you know that's the kind of opportunities that we want to give you and we will give you here at Hayesfield. So Hayesfield students are articulate, confident, positive, inspiring and role models and there's Hannah there as a fantastic politics student in the House of Commons, which is exactly where we want you to end up, or somewhere like it. Um, so we prepare you for adult life. You will get outstanding teaching. You will learn about the policies that impact you. And this is one of the only courses that is directly going to impact you, no matter what you do at university. What's going on in politics will have an effect on your life. We have impressive exam results. We teach you to question. We inform you. We get you to kind of challenge your, your preconceptions and, and think more broadly. We create confident individuals and we get you to think about standing up for your rights. So we really look forward to you joining our class. If you have any other questions, my email is there and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.